Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... <laughs> Time to move. What? Still okay out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared-up soldiers I mentioned to do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently, they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Joyce just took out Gatehouse Squad and you still don't have eyes on us? What, what do they pay you for over there, huh? Charlie, just tell me where he is. Come on here, please. Charlie, where has B4? Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way.
Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Emerald. Monarch's years, resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small... Stay sharp! Stay sharp! Engage it! Unit, all units, has been Ground Zero have never returned. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for the same use of the must be complete before the final For more information, please refer to your employee manual. You. Gotta find a way out of here. No clear exit down here. We may have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. elevator. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight? After everything has happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from Monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know. But I'm going to find out.
Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the... Looks like the trailer has power Teresa now. Said, Mac, filling in for Bobby Radford. Bobby's taking a little I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want Paul's man had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Dump the contents on Hands off. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack... Don't do anything stupid. Oh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Shit. ground.
sensing signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. men to move from stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Absolutely no entry. 
But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. Well, Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition is critical. The stress. If you don't receive your treatment, you know what could happen. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. 
He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. 